Hi YouTube, this is Betty with Scrap Passion 01 and I'm so excited to share with you guys my very first mixed media canvas. Yay! So I created an 8x10 um, canvas for a Men's Liberty 25's um, swap over at uh, my scrap room Ning. And so when I saw that she was going to be hosting a mixed media swap, I immediately wanted to sign up because I have not, um, you know, done mixed media. And so I definitely wanted to give it a shot. So this is what I created. And I sure hope uh, my partner likes it. But um, I used the bird cage, uh, a bird cage rather, as uh, my focal point for my canvas. And this bird cage was actually um, inspired by a young lady on YouTube named Kelly Morton, I think her name is, if I'm saying that right. But um, she had a video where she had used the bird cage that we get from Michaels in the $1.50 bin and she cut it in half. And so uh, when I saw that, I thought, oh, that's a really great idea. Because for this particular uh, mixed media, the focus was, you know, metal embellishments. So I knew that I wanted to use a birdcage. I was going to use the Tim Holtz birdcage and do like a three-dimensional. But when I saw her video, I thought it was a great idea. And so I wanted to incorporate the birdcage, you know, with the metal uh, birdcage would be would be really good for this project so that's what I did and um, let me see if I can get a look close up if you can see there and I put some moss um, in the inside of the bird cage and I added some burlap here peeking through I added a little uh, bird's nest a metal um, embellishment of a um, bird's nest with eggs in it and um, I put also some burlap and it's like way back up in there you may not can see it but I love also how this mesh not mesh moss uh, looks in the bird cage and this is what I used this came from um, Hobby Lobby this is what the moss collection and I have a whole heap of it left so that's what I used in the inside and then I also used um, some sprays um, coming up through the bird cage. I thought that was a good um, additive um, to make it come alive and then I used the Tim Holtz bird um, in the inside there and I used some um, gesso and I just kind of pounced on them to give him some texture also, first I embossed him using vintage photo um, embossing powder. And then he was just too dark with that. And then I put some um, stickles on him to kind of lighten him up. But then after I got through spraying with the Delusion spray, 
he got dark again, so I had to use some gesso on him to, you know, where you can see him in the birdcage. So I just kind of used that to kind of lighten him up a little bit. And so what else? I used some lace and I used the um, pearl bling on a roll here on the birdcage. I also um, used gesso on the birdcage and just kind of pounced on it to give it just a very slight texture. Um, what else did I do? Mm -hmm. I used some charms uh, or some chain here with some you know on this chain here. I used this chain. Let me see if I can get where you can see that. And then I love the um, stencils that I use. You can see that this clock stencil is really nice. And then over here you can see the um, chicken wire I guess you call it you can see that that helped create some very very nice texture also I use the um, modeling paste and I got this from Hobby Lobby so um, that helped create some really nice texture I also used the tree branch um, stencil here I use one of those pen nibs here as my title I just simply used create and I added those white pearls um, on my title because these sprays, I use the Delusions, the, um, oops, let me get in frame. The, uh, what is this, the Torquors and the Bubblegum Pink. And they turned out really, really dark. I mean, they're like very, very bold uh, sprays. So, um... I had tried using some more subtle sprays before I used the Delusions, and I didn't like the effect that the subtle sprays was giving me. So I pulled out the Delusions, and my gosh, it gave me some color, all right. But I just kind of played with it, and this is like, uh, it turned more so bluish, pinkish uh, kind of a color when you mix it. So... Anyway, that's why I added the pearls because I wanted the title to pop out and not get lost in the dark background. So that's why I did that. And then I add some um, more pearl trim here again to lighten up the background a little bit. It's why I included the white to kind of lighten it up a bit. And then I use some um, lace here, some little flower lace. Uh, to create some texture and I also put a little pearl in the center um, I use some stickles also um, to give it a little uh, shine and you can kind of see that sparkle there I love this little buckle here that I used um, as an embellishment and uh, what do you call this a bobbin I guess that's what you would call that I added that as an embellishment some real pretty flowers some sprays here, a little uh, door knocker there, a keyhole. I love the little light bulb that says sweet and the key there in the corner that says believe and I just use a spray of flowers. I also included an artichoke charm here to just put on the bird cage. So um, this was a lot of fun. Um, it's a great way to use up some of your embellishments. I also included this cute little clock, if you can see that um, embellishment there. And I used some metal uh, corners up here, here on these three corners here. And if you can see it right down here. So I'm pleased uh, with how it turned out. I'm very satisfied. Uh, with the texture, um, I wanted to really get some good texture, and I'm pleased at how my texture uh, turned out. So, um, trying to get a better look at it, it's just so you can get the color. It's like a oh pinkish, uh, purplish like I guess color um, that it turned out to be. So. Please leave a comment, you guys, and um, let me know what you think um, of the canvas. Because, like I said, this is my very first uh, mixed media canvas. Um, so let me know what you guys think, 
And um, as always, thank you guys for watching. Bye.